Assalamu alaikum everyone. In this video lecture, we will be discussing the paper 2 past papers of biological molecules, which is a topic from AS level biology 9700. Let's move on to question number 14. One of the enzymes involved in glycogen synthesis is glycogen synthase. The monomer of the glycogen polymer is alpha glucose. Part A 1. Draw the ring form of alpha glucose in the space provided. So guys, let's draw the ring form of the alpha glucose molecule. The ring of alpha glucose is hexagonal, which means it has six sides. And at one side, there is oxygen atom. Right. And if we talk about the carbons, there are six carbons in uh, glucose. And this is over here, there's carbon number one, carbon number two, three, four and five carbon number six is out of the ring so at carbon number one because this is alpha glucose hydrogen is above the plane of ring OH is below the plane of ring and if we talk about carbon number two H is above the plane and OH is below the plane of ring if we talk about carbon number three then H is OH is above the plane and H is below the plane of ring If we talk about carbon number 4, H is above the plane of ring, OH is below the plane of ring. And if we talk about carbon number 5, so at carbon number 5, CH2OH is above the plane because this C is the carbon number 6 and below the plane is hydrogen. So this is the alpha glucose molecule, right? Let's move on to part two. Glycogen synthase catalyzes the formation of a covalent bond between two alpha glucose molecules during the glycogen synthesis. So they are saying that the glycogen synthase, which is an enzyme, it catalyzes the formation of a covalent bond, which occurs between two alpha glucose molecules during glycogen synthesis. Name the type of the bond formed. So guys, the covalent bond that is formed between two alpha glucose molecules in glycogen is glycosidic bond. Always remember that whenever two monosaccharides join, a glycosidic bond is formed. Let's move on to part three. Glycogen branching enzyme is another enzyme that is required for glycogen synthesis. Suggest why glycogen branching enzyme is needed in addition to the glycogen synthase. So guys, uh, the glycogen synthase makes uh, alpha 1 4 glycosidic bonds in the glycogen so if we talk about glycogen so there are two types of bonds in the glycogen these are alpha 1 4 and alpha 1 6 glycosidic bonds right so for example right now i'm drawing a simplified diagram of the glycogen so guys always remember that glycogen is made up of alpha glucose and between alpha glucose molecules there are alpha 1 4 and alpha 1 6 glycosidic bonds so uh, if we talk about these two types of bonds throughout the glycogen molecule you will find alpha 1 4 glycosidic bonds and alpha 1 6 glycosidic bonds will only be found at branch points so for example for example if i talk about this uh, glycosidic bond or uh, this one or this one all the glycosidic bonds are mainly alpha 1 4 so basically these are alpha 1 4 glycosidic bonds so where are alpha 1 6 alpha 1 6 glycosidic bonds are only found at the branching points so these purple bonds the bonds that I have shown with purple are alpha 1 6 alpha 1 6 glycosidic bonds are only at the branching points right And if we talk about these bonds, again, these are alpha 1, 4. So only at the branching point, we have alpha 1, 6 glycosidic bonds. Whereas throughout the uh, glycogen molecule, we have alpha 1, 4 glycosidic bonds. So as you all know that to make different bonds, different enzymes are required. Glycosidic 1, 4, alpha 1, 4 glycosidic bonds are made by which enzyme? Made by glycogen synthase. 
right whereas to make alpha once is ligosidic bonds what do we need we need a branching enzyme right and that's because these are the separate bonds so the active side the shape of the active side will be different why do we need two separate enzymes to make two separate bonds because to make alpha 1 4 glycosidic bonds different active side is required which will align the alpha glucose molecules accordingly and to make alpha 1 6 glycosidic bonds different active side is required to align the glucose molecules in such a way that alpha 1 6 glycosidic bonds are made so we will write over here that that branching enzyme has an active site which allows alpha glucose molecules to fit in such a way that alpha one six glycosidic bonds can be made to form what branches so guys we are done with this question we will now move on to the next question let's move on to question number 13 starch is composed of two polysaccharides amylose and amylopectin figure 3.1 shows a molecule of alpha glucose before being added to the end of a molecule of amylose so guys this is amylose and uh, there's a alpha glucose molecule that is about to be joined at the end of the amylose a part one complete figure 3.1 to show how a molecule of alpha glucose is added to the amylose right so we have to complete uh, the figure 3.1 to show how this alpha glucose molecule is attached to this end of the amylose right let's make it so guys we have to draw the entire amylose with all the atoms right so we have drawn this part of the amylose now we have to show the joining of the alpha glucose 
So in the alpha glucose joints, what will be formed? The glycosidic bond. Which one? Alpha 1, 4. Because this is carbon number 1 and this is carbon number 4, right? We can label this as the glycosidic bond. Which one? Alpha 1, 4 glycosidic bond. And we can also show the water molecule. Part 2. Name the bond that forms between uh, glucose molecule in polysaccharides such as amylose. We have to name this bond and this bond is the glycosidic bond. Part B. Glycogen and cellulose are two polysaccharides. Complete table 3.1 to compare glycogen and cellulose with amylose. Right. So guys, we have to compare amylose, glycogen and cellulose. Right. So if we talk about the monomer, the monomer of amylose is alpha glucose. The monomer of glycogen is also alpha glucose. Whereas the monomer of cellulose is beta glucose. Branched or unbranched? So amylose is unbranched, glycogen is branched. And cellulose is unbranched. Right? Always remember this point that amylose and cellulose they are unbranched whereas glycogen and amylopectin are branched. Role in organisms, uh, amylose acts as an energy storage so is the function of the glycogen. Glycogen is also used as an energy storage whereas cellulose makes up plant cell wall. Or we can say it's a structural polysaccharide. You can say structural role or make structural polysaccharide. Right. So guys, we are done with this question. We will now move on to the next question.